This is Lubbock, Texas, the day of the storm plus nine. The route the tornado took was from Midtown northeast toward the municipal airport. We're traveling upstream, so to speak, retracing the path of destruction. Among the last homes to be hit before the winds calmed or lifted or whatever they did that night was the home of Dee and Joe Curry. As the sun came up the morning of May 12th, I sat with the Currys in their roofless living room and talked with them about the rebuilding job which lay ahead. Now that job is well underway in some places, but not yet at their home. Streets are cleared, the rubble is still heaped about, but now there is order and symmetry where before there was disorder and confusion. The greatest obstacle in Lubbock's path now is time. Money has been funneled in. The will to recover never faltered. But so mammoth the project takes millions of man hours. It takes time. With slow progress comes impatience. The Great Plains Life Building is still standing. Now it has become something of a monument to that storm. But what do you do with a mountain of steel and glass? The rubble of a city racked by a storm. As one man told me earlier today, I really don't know. I guess you play it by ear a lot. But we have it to do, and we'll do it. Jerry Taft, Channel 8 News, Lubbock, Texas. This is Lubbock EOC. Two weeks ago, that designation had an almost science fiction sort of air about it. EOC, Emergency Operations Center. It's part of the civil defense plans all cities have, a part reserved for disaster, a part they hoped they'd never have to use. This initial function was coordination of emergency rescue services. Then came the gargantuan task of caring for the people who had survived but whose homes had not. Now, EOC is the focal point for the continuing program of rehabilitation. J.T. Alley is chief of Lubbock Police. Chief, what is the situation in Lubbock today? Well, of course, at the present time, uh, as far as the police department's concerned, we are manning a perimeter around the most seriously but damaged areas and uh, trying to protect the workmen uh, clearing the streets and uh, the linemen putting back up new lines and things like this and uh, also to prevent looting. And they have done a fantastic job of getting the streets open and uh, cleared to where we could use them for traffic. Have you had any real problem with looting and that sort of thing? No, we, uh, we have had some looting and uh, the first night I think uh, some of the people followed this storm through town because it, uh, we got our first looting call probably 10 minutes after this thing hit downtown. And uh, since then, we've uh, had patrols out and uh, we did close off the area and it's pretty well slowed down. We've had some burglaries probably as a result of it because we've had so many men tied up in this area. But uh, Oh, all in all, it's, uh, it's gone real well, We're gone real fast. The morning after the storm, I stood here in the EOC in Lubbock City Hall, and I listened to a proud and resourceful city just hours after a storm blew through, already saying thank you for the help it was receiving. They didn't demand help, they didn't even plead for help, but they did appreciate that they got. Jerry Taft, Channel 8 News, Lubbock.